it's Katerina with Meat Field Living and here I am on the next day recording this uh, intro because this video is suffering from the same issues as the video previous to this because I recorded it all on the same day in one fell swoop all right back to back to back. I did not know that my camera was having autofocus issues so the camera is going in and out of focus it's not really as much bad in this one though there are a couple places where it does go out for a couple seconds but comes back in I do apologize like I said I did not catch it because I filmed all of it in segments back to back um, I do have an older camera as I keep saying it does need to be replaced I am working on that and I will definitely not make this mistake again so anyways I uh, hope that you uh, just understand uh, give me a little grace and I'll see you on the other side hello hello it's me, Katerina from Meat Field Living, and yes, I'm here again on the same day, I know. Um, it's just all of these videos are getting really long, and so I want to just kind of separate them all out. Um, there's the process of getting into my new home, getting everything meal prepped, um, or at the very least um, set up uh, like I bought a bunch of meat. I went through that in my previous uh, video, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it vacuum sealed in my trusty vacuum sealer that I was able to find finally. Um, so that's what we're going to do in this video. I'll move my camera so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, this is a very small kitchen. Uh, hopefully you can see, maybe you can just see what I'm doing here and I'll adjust that in a second and kind of walk you through. Um, some of these are already sealed in packages. I'll just split them because it's real pain in the rumpsters when you're trying to do this when it's frozen and this one doesn't look like it has serrations on it. So I'll have to be super careful. I might still vacuum seal it even after I, I cut it. Uh, these are just individual. Uh, these, what are these called? Short ribs, short ribs. Uh, normally, a lot of times I'll buy stuff from Costco and it'll have um, serration down here and I can just pull it apart, but this one doesn't have that. So, you know, anyways. I'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna um, possibly talk through some of it, uh, but I'll just kind of work and get everything taken care of. And then I will move you over to the vacuum sealer. I vacuum seal stuff. You can do it in Ziploc bags too, um, but I like to vacuum seal it, especially because this is such a large meat haul and this meat has the potential of being in there in the freezer a little longer than normal. Okay, so hopefully I have enough of these. Yes. I like the individual bags, and I have some of those, um, like the ones that are already cut to size, but there's a big, there's a wall of, uh, there's a wall of boxes over there. I know this is cutting off my head, I'm sorry, but I want you to be able to kind of just see what I'm doing. Um, just, uh, I know it's very yellow in here and I do apologize for that. The lighting is not spectacular and I think that light is making it worse. But if I turn that off, it might be too dark in here. Um, if you haven't tried this, this is really good. I am normally a Topo Chico kind of girl, but um, I started, oops, sorry, that's probably loud. I started uh, drinking this liquid death actually i heard about this from larry from carnivore soldier he uh a fellow texan fellow veteran amazing channel check it out if you haven't um he told me about it they have the sparkling and then they have just like plain mineral water very good anyways not sponsored just love it um so probably what i'll do is first i'm going to try to cut this and see if i can't get uh i might still vacuum seal it because i'm afraid that i might catch that so i'm just gonna carefully cut along right here let's see did it it looks like it stayed sealed so that's good just i worry you know because i'm um, well because i worry that's why and that one because i can't hold my hands straight evidently kind of went but it does still appear to be good so these guys are ready I just want to double check yeah these are still sealed so these guys are ready to go in the freezer individually like that there's 
two, four, six, eight, possibly 10 in there. Now these guys, I usually eat, these are lamb loin chops. I will usually eat three in a sitting. Sorry, you hear the boys. This is a working household and I do YouTube, uh, I do YouTube between working full time, so, and you know, being a full time parent. So, what I'll do is I'll cut a couple of these up and then I will take them over, seal the bottoms of them. And I'm just going to seal these right now and then I'll take you over when I actually go to do all of them. So I just seal one end of these. I'm going to focus. I'm sure you know how to use vacuum bags. <laughs> this one is very small. Ooh, slow down, hold on, take a breath. If I could, I make me feel less. Something in my So come and make me feel different. Like I said, I usually do, see like these, I made giant bags instead of the size I needed, but it's okay. It's all right. I'm going to put four, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do three in there because that's usually about what I eat in a sitting. I, I didn't need these ginormous bags because, well. <sighs> That's just how I do, I guess. And this one is going to have, one of these is going to have four because I hope I can seal this one. Shoot. I guess we'll find out. I like to get the bags that have, um, they actually have, they say like for wet or for meat and they have like this little paper thing right here. It works out really great because it absorbs the meat. So I will put all of these over here because this one I worry about. And I'll take you over in a minute and then we'll seal them all up and then we'll label them. Hopefully, I may have to use some, um, I may have to use some, uh, Ziploc bags for that guy. Now, remember I showed you these, here comes a boy, so be, be prepared, but look at how thick thick with two C's. It's nice and amazing. That's dinner for me. It's huge. Might not be able to seal that one. sealed one of them. I'll take you over to when I do the rest of them, but this is what I usually do. And then I will write ribeye. And what's today's date? 11-9. Uh, Not that it was going to matter much because this stuff is going to get eaten very quickly, but These guys are actually frozen and normally I would freeze them or I would put them in individual packages before I froze them, but I had the kids help put groceries away and they put it all in the freezer. So 
I'm gonna try to separate them and see. It may not work. I may just have to put the whole thing in. This one does not wanna seal. So again, this isn't, like I said, this isn't something that I would normally do. And I may not be able to, it just depends. Where there's a will, there is surely a way. I apologize if you hear my son up there screaming. He constantly does that. He's playing a video game. And I know, I know you can't see me, but I'm about to cut up this stuff and the pork belly and the pork loin. And I'll put it in these bowls and then I will individually wrap everything all up. Uh, Pork belly is, oh, it's my favorite. And I usually just cut it into chunks like this. Um, and I'm just gonna throw them in this bowl right here. It's nice because Costco sells it cut in strips like this. Whereas when I buy it from Sam's Club, I haven't seen it in strips like this. So I have to cut it off the huge block. And I almost bought a block of pork belly while I was there at Costco hit, but they were huge. And when I mean huge, I mean, yeah, I would totally eat it for sure, but I just don't have the freezer space. This right here is pushing it as it is. Um, all the stuff that I bought But you know, I'm over here anticipating bad weather and This is so that I don't ever have to leave the house. I know it's kind of crazy of me here I'm like anti-social and making a YouTube channel, right? Who does that? Me. That's who does that um, Of course if you're you know, if you know my story, you know that I never intended on doing a YouTube channel I certainly never wanted to put my embarrassing stories and my fat pictures and I'm not fat shaming myself I'm just I was obese and uh, putting pictures of myself and my you know sports bra and stuff like that out there for the world to see was a uh, humbling and very just humiliating for me but the amount of progress and changes that I have had happen in just these few months of doing this carnivore diet is just, I say this all the time, nothing short of a miracle. And honestly, that's why I'm doing my YouTube channel is because I want to get this word out there uh, for people who might be going through the same thing that I am. I mean, I say this all the time. I know I don't want to be a, a repeating you know, record or whatever they call that, but in case you're just watching this video and you hadn't heard me say that before, uh, YouTube is not my 
not my job. Um, I'm doing doing this because I think that more people need to be aware. More people need to um, to see the amazing benefits that the carnivore diet has. And coming from somebody that was, you know, 13 years vegan, vegetarian, vegan, whole food, plant based, that they're, they're, this is this is huge. This is just a huge thing. And you know, no one is more shocked than me. Uh, that I'm over here cutting up pig belly right now, you know, I mean seriously, but first off this is delicious and second the, just the, the miraculous healing that happens because of this diet. I just I, I got to get it I got to tell you guys all about it and for those people who wonder what I do or how I go about prepping and doing everything that I do, this is it. This is what I do. I go buy a bunch of meat, I cut it up and go from there. Now, before anybody comes at me, this is pork and that was pork. So pork and pork, I'm going to use the same cutting board and the same knife and everything because pork is pork. And I'm actually opening this in the sink. You can't see over here because it does have some some blood and I'm actually going to cut it in half before to get it on this little cutting board because I just don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of room and these cupboards I'm so used to having granite you know and and having a, just being able to flop pans and everything on my cupboards that this, this is I don't know what this stuff is but so I just cut this I prefer them to be a little thick because I already annihilate pork chops as it is. Um, and I, if they're thin, they really, really dry out. So I make them pretty thick. Uh, and even then, I still manage to ruin them. But this is what I do with these pork loins. And then I'll put a few of them in a bag. Again, I'm not a huge pork fan. It was my husband that liked it. But uh, it was a force of habit to buy pork loin. And, you know, sometimes I'll just keep trying. I will keep trying to until I get it right. There's got to be something somewhere. There's a secret to pork that I just don't know. But um, I don't dry out lamb. I don't dry out beef. I don't I haven't tried the goat yet, but, you know, I, I guess I'll find out if I dry that out. This is. Don't cringe, all you people out there are gonna tell me my knife skills are bad. You know, I gotta tell you, the most I ever cut up was a tomato and a cucumber, so this is uh, <laughs> this, this is rough for me. Like, what is that? That's not even like a pork chop. I'm not sure what that is. It's just a hunk of pork, but that's that's what it is. I have also cut this up and made like pork bites out of it, kind of like pork belly. Um, and it was pretty okay. It, it dried out just like all the other pork that I make. But I have cut these loin chop these loins up and made um, like pork bites. Is that a thing? I might even do that. I might cut some of this up and, and vacuum seal it already up made as pork bites. Is that a thing? I don't know. I season it up really good. Uh, I know you guys are cringing right now. You're like, oh my God, she's gonna cut her fingers off. I might, one of these days, seriously. Gotta have a sharp knife, that's for sure. Uh, I have a couple different sets, I like these. I have some of the ninja, always sharp ninjas. I actually think I'm gonna cut, no I'm not. I'm not gonna cut, I'm just gonna leave them in pork chops because this, this video is already getting long enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this bagged up or boxed up or whatever the heck. Now, pork belly, I have a big bag of it in the refrigerator right now that's gonna last me for a couple days. So for the pork belly, I'm gonna separate it into uh, smaller bag sizes, I guess, because um, again, when I used to make it in the past, everybody, you know, my husband would eat it and stuff too, but now it's just me. So I'm usually frying up, you know, look how even that is, just like, that's crazy, not even.
everyone, here I am again on a completely different day recording the outro to that video. I have mentioned a few times in my last couple videos that my camera on that day that I had filmed that series of videos was having autofocus issues that I didn't know about until I got into the editing area. Um, so I, I was not able to catch that preemptively and stop it. That wasn't even really particularly positive what was causing it. I considered refilming the videos, all of them, but I cut all the meat up and I put it into bags and froze it. So I wouldn't be able to refilm it because I didn't have any meat to refilm. So hopefully you are understanding that again, like I said, that day where I was filming those videos, I was having some technical issues. I have an older camera. I do need to replace it. It's on the list. It's just very far down on the list, unfortunately. Uh, the only thing that I think would have been much different about my normal meat haul days compared to this one is generally I would buy the big sirloin roasts, the big ones, and I would cut sirloin steaks out of those. I normally would do that for my husband. I am not a fan of sirloin steak. I have a texture issue as it is, and they're just much too compact and hard for me to chew. Plus, I have a boy here with braces, and that's really just too much for him. So I didn't get the sirloin, and then I also would have normally gotten a big chub of ground beef but they don't have that there at Costco or at least this one didn't and I would cut it into one pound packages and then flatten it and put it in the freezer but since I already had some left over from um, when I moved here I did bring a cooler with a few pounds of ground meat um, on ice so that I would have some here so I do still have some and I did pick up a few packages of ground beef at Costco. So um, that would be what would be really different about the meat hauls. But other than that, that's what I do when I get my meat in, in the bigger packages. I separate it, I vacuum seal it, I label it, and I put it in the refrigerator or freezer, depending on, you know, if it's for dinner or for later. Um, I really appreciate you sticking it out through this video. Um, if you are a current subscriber of mine, thank you so much for continuing to support me on this journey. I still am absolutely flabbergasted and just tickled about people commenting and being so supportive and liking and sharing my videos. I appreciate you more than you know. And if you are new here, I'm sorry that the video that you just found uh, is one that goes in and out of focus. I hope that you will uh, take into consideration that this is not the norm. Um, I really appreciate you being here though. I hope that you will consider to uh, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share. It does get the word out for more people that are starting this journey like I am, going through the things that I'm going through. It just makes it so that we can reach more people. Um, I do absolutely appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that you have the most wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, eat your meat.